Have you seen this? When he looks to the side and just like, what's going on? Alright, you ready? <laughs> oh my god. So when you look left and right, it actually like looks what? like your head is flat. <laughs> this is so bizarre. So everyone here in the office has an Instagram account. Corridor, Instagram account as well. And one of the coolest things about Instagram are the Instagram stories and specifically the face filters that you can apply to your stories. If I just go to my story right here, this is a homemade filter that someone made and uploaded for everyone to use for free. To access it, you just hit there at the top and it brings up this little thing here and you can hit try it. And then it automatically loads and suddenly it works. Whoa. Hit browse effects there. You have a whole directory of face filters that you can now search for, browse through and try on your own to put in your own Instagram stories. It's pretty fun. One face filter that's kind of crazy, it duplicates my face. Like a <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> this one's a cool one. It's like Predator with his invisible active camo. If I just tap it, yeah! Whoa, Terminator? As with anything that I find super fun, I decided to look into it a little bit more and discovered, I think I can make one. I think I can make an Instagram face filter. So if you're a follower of this channel, you are definitely familiar of one thing we like to call panos. Ah! Those funny, squishy faced photos you see all of us posting on Instagram from time to time. They have a really rich history. We accidentally discovered them on a trip in Japan in 2014 when we were just bored playing around with the app and we realized that that pano app, if you moved your head just so slightly, you could trick it into stitching and squishing your face or other body parts, limbs, anything into these hilarious disfigured forms. It was so so funny and we, we, we did it for years. Also made a tutorial video as well if you want to check it out it's in the description. And so that led us to wait you know maybe we should make our own app for this and we started researching it we looked into it but we came to a brick wall in our research because it turns out that the API that governs the panoramic feature on Apple iPhones basically is not accessible to developers and so we gave up. Got the occasional old-fashioned pano every once in a while and it kind of died off until custom Instagram filters with facial tracking. So it turns out the technology has been on our phones all along. Now Ren has to use his massive cranium to make us look like we all have massive craniums. So essentially what these face filters are doing is utilizing this thing called AR, which stands for augmented reality. So here's what I mean by AR. You see how that little square is tracked? My phone has detected that this is a plane and it is tracking that in real time. And there it goes, it fell down. So the AR we're gonna be utilizing is more of like a face tracking type. It's a combination of some advanced hardware specifically tailored to this, but also some advanced software that's been written to track your face in real time. Now, there's certain things about our faces that never change, like the distance between our corners of our eyes, the relationship between our eyes and our nose and our mouth, landmarks of our face that are very easy to track. And depending on how like these points move in 3D space, the computer or our phones can tell the orientation of our face and therefore get a pretty advanced face track. If I wanted to get into this, how do I get into it? Well, the only thing I know so far is to use a program called Spark AR. It's a program made by Facebook, and think of whatever you will of Facebook and their privacy concerns. They have put out this face filter program that you can make your own face filters for free. But I've never actually really worked with AR before, but a friend of mine has. So I've decided to invite him over here tonight to help me learn this program a little bit better. But first, I need to do my own research so I can kind of prepare so that when he is here and I can ask him questions, I'm not asking him questions that are super basic that I can just Google search on my own time. And you do it, Ren. I believe in you. I believe in you, Ren. Oh, Ren, Ren. Here, Ren, I've got something for you. He's here. Yo, what up, dude? Hey, what's up, Ryan? Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Hey, how's it going? It's going well. Don here, he works at DreamWorks. I do, I'm a specialist trainer. You guys are using proprietary software that no one else knows how to use, so. I teach a lot of our creative software and tools, get people onboarded and ready to work in a fully animated studio. I found the perfect person to help me learn how to use Spark. A teacher, an actual teacher. <laughs> My high is when someone learns and then they're just like, oh, I'm ready, I can, I can go in, I can do it. I love seeing that. I actually found Don on on Instagram, you have a pretty cool Instagram page. You also made an Instagram filter that you've published and people can download and 
check it out. Yes, it's called the Golden Serpent. It's got lights that spin around. I'll definitely show you how to do that. And the lights hit all the normal maps and get all the bumps and the textures and the details. <laughs> That's great. I want to make an effect. You know the movie uh, The Hangover? They go to the casino and they start trying to count cards in and like formulas. Yeah, exactly. It's like he goes into smart mode and yeah, like all yeah. the formulas start popping up around yeah. him. So I want to be able to just like write out a bunch of those formulas on a piece of paper, take an image of that and put a lot of those images into a filter floating around my face. Maybe some are tracked to my head. I can show you literally how we can do that tonight. Oh my God, this is great. <laughs> so um, I've noticed there's actual like scripting involved, like coding. There is. How much of that do you have to do? Not too much so far. Okay. Because they want to make this tool accessible to as many people as possible. I can tell by how they've structured it. It's very programmy in the sense like you're dragging the nodes around, you're seeing the new function come out and they have like little animated lines that go between them. So you can actually see like where the signal's going. Oh, I okay. love that. I wish Houdini had that. We got it. Wow. This, is, this is basically it. We figured out how to get the emission of the particles just right <laughs> no I like I, I want to get to a point where I know this program well enough that I could just start kicking out all kinds of filters uh, just all the time I see how uh, fast you learn so this is gonna be happening very soon with you yeah time to keep working on this see you guys later well, we all know that Ren's out there working on our Instagram filter, but he's gotten us all probably a little bit more into them than we should be. And I'm gonna go through some of my favorites right now and tell you guys about today's sponsor, The Ridge. Now, The Ridge is an awesome company that started on Kickstarter in 2013 with their most famous product, The Ridge Wallet. Wow, look at this one. Look how, look how pretty I am. Now they make wallets, backpacks, chargers, a bunch of other stuff, and basically they turn these things into tools that make your life better, which I love. I'm all about that stuff. So basically, Basically, I've got a whole box of wallets right here, and I'm gonna go around and give them to the guys. Wait, you mean like SpongeBob when Patrick had a whole box of wallets and he dropped it on that one dude's foot? What's in that box anyhow? My wallets. Ah! I got y'all wallets. Oh, is this a carbon fiber one? Ooh, these indestructible wallets. wallet. Not only are these wallets made out of carbon fiber, but they also have a lifetime warranty. 80 years old and be like, hey, my wallet broke. That's right. Ooh. Yeah. Let's see which one Dean wants. Oh, I like the green. It's kind of nice. Oh, look at that. Hey, cool guy, get the Ridge wallet. Did you know that these wallets have a lifetime warranty? Cool guy. Did you know that they have over 30,000 five star reviews? Well, that sounds like a good wallet right there. Damn, son, this one has a spider on it. Oh, geez. Oh, there's a spider on them, too? And there's a live spider. They come with live spiders? Yeah. Just with your wallet. One thing that people love about them is this very sleek, very stylish design right here, where they've got this durable, high quality band that's in between these two pieces of metal and you can fit whatever you want into the wallet right there. So go on and put a card in there and show them, what, show them how to do it. Dude, it comes with a screwdriver. I've always wanted a screwdriver. Swing. The last thing that you guys need to know is that over 500,000 people already use these wallets. So they're tried and true and they have a lifetime warranty. They also do free worldwide shipping. That's nice. Mm -hmm. That's very considerate. Yeah, so you can get these anywhere in the world. Huge thanks to them. Remember, go to ridgewallet.com slash corridor crew. Use the promo code corridor crew and you'll get 10% off. Whew. How'd it go last night? It went well. Dude, Don's a great guy and we like problem solved a bunch of stuff together and I learned a whole lot about using Spark AR. And like literally five minutes ago, we started having our first success, a real time scrunchy face. The way to go about doing it is you actually download a 3D model of a face that Spark AR provides for you. And using a 3D program like Cinema 4D, you can start moving around those polygons and distorting them, save that out as a 3D object again, and import that into the program and it'll actually distort your face in the same way you distorted that 3D model of a head. Clint over here has just been plugging away, morphing around these things, and we have a real-time scrunchy face. In the effect, usually we have really squished, simple heads, but here we only are squishing our face. But it's real-time. I can duplicate the face tracker, and then set the face to read a second face, so now... So now it should just work on both of us. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, this is kind of funny. I mean, it's pretty close to it's, the scrunchie. Like, like you can make scrunchies like this, certainly. Yeah. We are so smart now. <laughs> our, our brain power is just so high. Mm -hmm. oh! <laughs> Benjamin scrunchie. What's really interesting is that it works really well through the webcam here. This is where I'm confused because it's working really fine on the computer, but when I send it to my phone, it's not the same oh, yeah. effect. There's a very clear difference between uh, the morphing that's going on here. I'm not exactly sure why. Because I've only started learning this program yesterday. <laughs>
our goal is to have this whole thing basically done this evening slash tomorrow so that we can begin the submission process. That's right, there's a whole submission process for all of this. It's like making an app for the app store. You have to meet all these guidelines. You have to even make an icon for the face filter itself, which none of these things are too hard, but then it has to go through a review process and that could take anywhere between a day or a week. So uh, yeah, in the meantime, I'm just gonna try to figure out how to get this working and that'll be the thing I focus on for now. Two hours later. I think I got it. <laughs> what I realized is over here, there's these two little tick marks to turn off the eyes and mouth. Um, and suddenly it oh. begins to work. So I'm gonna try this real quick. I'm just gonna export this. Let's do my first test right now. Oh, it works! It works? Oh, it works! And now that I've got my working filter and icon, I can actually now go through the submission process here. So what should we call it? Yeah, scrunch. Scrunch. Yeah. scrunch. scrunch. <laughs> You did it. <laughs> Three days later. Shall we show everyone? Yeah. Come here, mean Dean. <laughs> so he can't see. Oh my god. Am I smush, dude? You're so smart right now. That's my that's my big brain. You know I'm a true intellectual. <laughs> Good. The forehead wrinkles. Oh <laughs> wait. If you look straight down. Hey Nick, I can even look at you. <laughs> what are you looking at? What's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> what? What's Nothing. so funny? No, I'm just... Stop laughing. Okay. It's okay. not funny. Yeah. Ah! So I've got it working on up to five different faces at the same time. So how many people can we fit in the same shot right now? What was that? I remember people saying in the comments they thought that was fake. No, that was actually Clint. This is a monumental occasion here. This is big brain mode. Uh, big boy brain. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a little troll. <laughs> I'm like, what? Lord of the Rings! It's <laughs> like an egg, dude. Nick, you look at the wrinkles, though. Oh, dude. Are you? Oh, dude, Jake, have you been working out up there? I've been working out every day. How many pounds can those eyebrows lift, bro? 35 pounds! Now I want to test how many people we can get in this shot at the same time. Everyone just like, line up around me here. This is like a family photo. Oh my god. <laughs> It's everybody. <laughs> and it works with the back camera as well, so I can flip this around and just look at each oh, of you no. guys in turn. Oh, that's <laughs> almost. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> e equals MC squared. I'm just real tired. I'm tired too. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Cliff. Cliff. <laughs> His name's Clurf. 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 Oh, oh, whoa, oh, dude. Smush man. <laughs> dude, that's the most metal picture I've ever seen. <laughs> How much of an angle does it work at? Like, it works at pretty pretty intense angles. So it, it starts like doing weird things with your nose. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it like works. <laughs> so if I go horizontal, it just doesn't. It, I think it doesn't identify new faces. Oh yeah. No, so if you guys are I'm already like, tracked, it'll stay there. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Oh, look who's back. <laughs> Dude, it's like one to one, the same, the same exact effect as a scrunchie in video form. Dude, oh, congratulations! Thank you, thank you. This this packs the fun of panoramas in into like an accessible format. Yeah. yeah, this is a pretty big deal because we we even met with a couple developers and we asked them if we could build this. If you guys think this effect is pretty funny, then. Yeah, subscribe to the channel. Normally I don't subscribe to any channel or <laughs> magazine, but if you guys like this video, please subscribe and maybe you can learn how to do this yourself. Leave a comment below detailing the next funny face you think we should make. <laughs> how do I get this on Instagram? So it's really easy. All you gotta do is go to the Quarter Digital Instagram homepage here just like this. There's a new icon right here in the third spot. It's a smiley face. You hit that and then it brings up all the face filters we've ever made. And this one, all you gotta do is tap it and it brings up the classic demo that I've already made for it. You just hit try it and boom, right there, it's already working. But you're not done yet. You gotta hit the icon one more time and then hit save to camera. So now every time 
time you launch your stories, you can instantly access it right there. So that's all you gotta do. Once you've downloaded the filter, go ahead and post some of these stories, but make sure to tag Quarter Digital in your Instagram stories, and we'll actually repost some of our favorite ones. Some of the ones that make us laugh the most will get reposted for sure, so check it out. And in the meantime, thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing, and hopefully maybe we can make more of these filters in the future, so stay tuned, and follow Quarter Digital on Instagram. We got great stuff coming at you.